Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkington. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to delete a kernel. Now, what the kernel is is going to be kind of your main thing that's going on in the background, I guess you want to say. And for the elementary OS is what I'll be doing this on. Uh, this can be also done on Ubuntu and other Linux versions, though some of the can commands might be a little different. But Ubuntu, everything that's Ubuntu related, is definitely the most popular uh, version of Linux out there by a long shot and elementary OS runs on top of that so it kind of works together easy for everybody to kind of get along. Uh, so what you're going to need to do first is we need to actually figure out what kernel you are running. So to do that you're going to open up your terminal type in u name all one word space dash r press enter and you're going to notice that it pops up something. So for me I'm running the 3.12.5 uh, now again in the other videos I have this is I'm actually running this on a Chromebook uh, full version of Linux here I do not have Chrome OS installed anymore and so you should have downloaded it to that version already so you've probably had problems where you needed to boot up if you just have elementary OS in general you don't even need to worry about what I'm just saying right there uh, that's just for another group of people uh, so once you figure out what Linux kernel you have the whole key is now to go ahead and go delete the other ones now to do that you're going to type in sudo apt get install synaptic now I already have it installed there we go so that should only take a split second to download it's a very very small file uh, once that is downloaded you could either type in uh, sudo synaptic oops which will pop up like that uh, or you can go into your applications menu, uh, go to system tools, and you'll see it's right there. You'll just need to type in your password, same password that you used when you're working in your terminal. So once you have that opened, you're going to come up to this rebuilding search area, and you're going to need to type in Linux-header. Now, as you're going to see, I have all these right there, 13.13. Now, that's not saying much. As you see, there's no green box right here. That means it is not installed. If I hit this little S sign on the very top, it's going to bring everything that is installed to the very top here, anything with a green. Now I do hope those kind of backed up because I did start at a 13.010, so that's why they're there. So I already have deleted mine. Uh, what you're going to need to do is just click on one and then mark for removal. Or you can do mark for complete removal if you're too unsure with things and you might want to go back to it. Just do mark for removal and it'll just remove it. It won't actually completely delete it. Uh, so that's one way, that, or that's one set you're going to need to do. So. Uh, so if I wanted to get rid of 13.10, any of those that would have been green right there, I would have just marked for remove and got rid of them. Uh, again, you're going to come up to the search box and do a Linux-image this time. And you're going to notice that we get the images here. Now there's 13.3.12.5, uh, which is what I'm running. Keep scrolling down, and you'll notice I don't have anything else. Let's go to the latest version, see if I can find... So there's the 13 point or 3.13, my original one that I do not use anymore. And that's just a quick example of how you want to remove your kernel. Now, once you've restarted your book, a Chromebook, or sorry, your computer in general, you want to go ahead and go back into the terminal, do the uname R again, and you want to just make sure that you are on the uh, terminal that, or sorry, the kernel that you want to be working with. Uh, if you want to keep a bunch of kernels downloaded and installed, you're going to have to press the escape key when you're booting or however to get into the boot options. And then you're going to need to press shift and pick whatever boot option it is, which will be shift to one for me, which is one was the option to boot into my hard drive where elementary OS is actually installed. And it'll take me up to a little option where then I will press the down key once, and it could be different for you, which will take me to the advanced settings. And in that advanced settings, I can see all the different kernels that I currently have installed. Now, for me, I don't have any other kernels installed, so it's not ev I don't even need to do that part. I just boot up my system. It's going to boot directly into the kernel that I've chosen to use. And that is all you need to do when it comes to removing kernels. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. I'll have all this written out in the description area as well, for you can just copy and paste it if you'd like to do it that way. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.